Oh, I forgot my little cheat sheet. I'll be right back. Well, did y'all get your little hellos in? <laughs> now it's time for mine, because I left this in the printer. Hello, Sue, Kim, Nancy, Sean, Sharon, uh, Betty, Robbie, Nancy, and Judith. Hello, all. And Penny, she's feeling better. She's back. Yay. Barfing ain't fun. So, anyway, so I thought I would play with some of the celebration sets and also this paper, which is Wonderful World Designer Paper. So, that's a surprise card. Not showing it, but I use that flower. I mean, I'm not going to do it for you. I'll show it at the end. Yeah, it's pretty paper. Purdy purdy. Let me get rid of my mouse because you know I have accidents with it. Hi, Heather, Diane, Deborah, Trish, Cecilia, Helen, uh, Vicki, Sue Gibson. I think I got you all now. So if I miss anybody else, Alice, hello. Yeah. So, yeah, woohoo! I'm here! And it's thundering and lightning as usual. This little stylish sketches, and here's the wonderful world flowers that go with that gorgeous paper. And you can earn them free with a $50 order. You get to pick what you want. So, I also used stylish shapes um let's see i didn't use that one uh this one this one i used on that last card deepest sympathy and that came from peaceful moments go to greetings which is an awesome set because you just pick a size or a font then i used the thank you from plentiful plants and from a grand kid, I use the happy birthday. I also used my favorite deckled rectangles, but they're not sitting right here. So, my little cheat sheet, my coffee's right there, and here is card number one. So, this card just re really reminded me of what we used to do when we first started stamping. So with Orchid Oasis, this paper, which is gorgeous, but we're using that side. May as well stick this on the inside. And I think I'll give it a little stamp first. Just a little stamp. Because you know I don't do the insides too often. Lazy, lazy. So I'll get just like a little bit of it. Just a tad. Yeah, baby. I like it. Of course, my rag is between my legs. Oh, that didn't sound good. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. So we're going to put this in the inside. Oh, my goodness. I filled my ink bottle up, and I was, I don't know, looking at something else. <laughs> I was just pouring it went all over the place. So thank goodness this glue is not sticky. 
Okay. So we're going to put this now, as usual, all the sizes, dimensions, recipe, whatever you want to call it, is in the description of the video. Is there a direction to that? Yeah, kind of. Got to be careful of our directions. So I'll put that to the side. Now, here's where it gets fun. So this is this is how I did this. This is the orchid opulence. Yeah. So I did the top part of the stamp. And then of course it gets on like other portions. I don't want to catch that edge. I have to trim that. Now, because this is like a bigger space, I can just take my finger and do a little bit of that. But this is what I actually do. Have a piece of scrap paper. Take an older blender. Wipe that ink off. And that didn't get too bad, so that's okay. Then take the marker of choice. I'm using Mossy Meadow. And I'm going to color that in. Now, especially when you first become a demonstrator or you just get into, you know, stamping and you don't have the colors, if you have the marker, you're good to go. See, it's still like a little, just a little problem there. Give it a little huff. Do I have the right side? Of course not. Oh, yes, I do. Get a good stamp. Hold it there for a second. Don't twist like I just did. Perfect. Perfection. That's what I like. All right. Then I'm going to take that thank you which was just right in front of me. Hello? Where'd you go? Come on, Dad, you did it again? Oh, it's over here. Got it. And I am going to stamp it in black. So I let that stem go between the thank and the you. Just worked out that way. Let me put the cover on that. Then I took the green brush, which was, oh, oh there it is, it's hiding. And I used old olive rather than the darker green. And went around the edges. And that just kind of brings everything in a little bit. I have to go on my practice page and um, see if I can call my phone into the video and start using my phone because... I noticed that this was blurry on the Facebook 
like it it's clear to me here it only blurs if i move too fast <laughs> like that but it seemed blurry all right then we're gonna just glue this to the base Thunder, thunder. My dog didn't want to go out of here. I was going to leave her in, but sometimes she kind of gets like under my feet and starts tickling me. So simple card. Where'd they go? Maybe I'll switch it up. They might have slid back there. I got pearls. I got the pearls. Or I could do green. All right, those are blues. I don't like that green. That one could work. Let's do that. Let's do that. Make them a little different. So there is card number one. It was the first one. Yeah. All right. Card number two. It's so cute. Let me put that away, that away. Oh, you're kidding me. I just lost you guys. so much for oh there we are we're back again all right let me put this mouse way back there i'll probably touch it anyway just call me calamity jane do, 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 do. look at that paper it goes that way oh, so pretty so pretty all right, we'll do the little um, duckies first. So I have stamped them in black. Okay, and then we've got Mango Melody and Daffodil Delight. So I'm going to take the dark, blurry, the dark daffodil. And this is like very, very sketchy. But I'm going to go like under the wing, kind of around the wing. Up in there. Like wherever it's a little bit like thicker in the sketchiness. But you want to get under that wing. That's a duck tail. And here. Just wherever it's like a little bit heavier in the sketching. And the eye is tearing. It tears just for you. 
All right, so then with the light, and you can go like out a little bit into those sketches. Right there, I want to bring it out. And remember, you can always go back and add. And I was debating whether that was like a ribbon around its neck, but I'm going to pretend it's just part of the sketch. Ducktail. Duck butt. Just go down the leg a little bit. All right, then we're going to take the mango and do the beak. And I think I'm just going to do that there. I don't know why. We'll make it like it is a ribbon. And bring a little under there. So I'm actually using the light mango as another bit of a dark for some more highlight. Duck butt. So then bring in the light one again. Okay, so now, what do I got here? Light crumb cake. So, we'll just bring a little of that down. And I forgot to do that on the other. Sometimes I forget to ground them. Gotta ground them. They look cute with a little hat on, too. Okay, so we've got everything basically ready. We're just going to stamp on that. Just a note. Dun 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 dun. dun. It went. It loves me. So we've got that. So let's set that aside. I'll glue that down. Let it dry a little bit. Wow, this is really leaking. You know, my nose did not run all day until I got on here. My nose and my eye. Make sure your card is the right direction.
All right, let's glue this. So I just cut that a little bit wider. Measurements are in the description. Hi, Deb. Your phone rings. All right, we've got that ready. I think I'll put that down. That'll help with my measurement. Ooh, rolling thunder. So that's about right. Just eyeing it. Now this is going to get popped up. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for a second. So this is not my, my favorite thing to do, but I'm going to do it because it looks good. So we want, I'm going to do it a little longer so that I can cut it. Bring it over. And then bring it back. You stick in there? Yeah, you are. Cut. I said cut. Pardon. My tissue is calling me. Ah, where does that all come from? My brain. Hi, Maxine. There is an easier way to do that. I was supposed to do my nails last night. Look how terrible they look. I didn't do them. Got them. So then go ahead and put this right down in the middle. In the middle, in the middle, in the middle of the block. So now, oh, I can use gold too. So these are the 2021 to 2023 in color opal browns. Ooh. Got one there. <laughs> Trick me. Let's do that again. It tricked me again. There. And there. So there is card number two. They tricked me. All right. Card number. Woohoo! Card number three. Do you see this? What I learned to do? I mean, not that I have a lot, but you know when I'm losing all those pieces? So if I put them inside and then tuck it that way, it only took me 25 years to learn that. <laughs> That's so funny. So this is glimmer paper. You can see it.
so I'm going to put that on this little scrap that I have. And we're going to make a little change to it. I think I'll do the light color first. It's smarter to do that. Maybe. I think I'm going to make it darker. This is the light. I'm going to do the dark. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the dark. But if you do your lighter color first, then if you mess up with your darker color, it's not as bad. You know, like I've already gotten it into the center there. Where the first time, I had to be more careful. Now, if you really want to, you know, like get around the edge, you can go around it. I didn't do it on the first one. And then I was sorry. And after you lift it up, you can see if you missed any. I mean, you could even go you know, around the inside of these. That was just a thought just then. It'll make it like a little... a little brighter. Okay. Looks good to me. Looks good to you. Okay. So then I'm going to take the black and I'm going to do the antennas. in the body. And then we're going to set it aside. So I have a piece of pool party. And i got to do the inside too. So let's do the inside first. So I have this pretty little rose and the T Tahitian say that three times fast. I can't, I can't. And it's so pretty. All right, I'll glue that in after. We're gonna take the pool party And the rose. That was a good movie. The rose. Look how pretty that is on Pool Party. And you could do more if you wanted to, you know, around. Then we're going to take the woohoo. Not the woohoo. You have sound? Who doesn't have sound? Go out and come back in again. Okay, so we're going to go just on a little bit of a, what's that word? Jaunty? Ooh, jaunty. Tony and Sue like to use that word. I say angle. Because I'm from New York. So woo-hoo. Not boo-hoo. Well, unless you're getting really old. Sometimes it's boo-hoo. 
That would be a funny card, though. Woohoo! To another year. And on the inside, if you wanted, you could stamp happy birthday. I don't want to. Then, we're going to take that little butterfly. Oh, glue, don't do that to me. No, no. Whoa. It just wants to pour out of there. Or it doesn't. One or the other. Or sometimes both. Oh yeah, it looks much better with the darker marker. Much better. Somehow I'm going to have to go over the other one. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to put that onto a black backing. I say whoop. Oh, Gail, where'd that spot come from? Uh, I got a fingerprint. It didn't come from here. Because that's blue, and that's black. <clears throat> it's on me somewhere. Let's see if my eraser has shown up yet. I know I have used it. We're going to put extra, um, extra little fancy gems. Yeah, if you don't have one of these, you, you need to have it. But that was more than just a titch. It's I. It's I. All right, let's glue this in. Still got card number four to go. These are like really simple. There goes my teary eye down my face. If you looked at me, you would think I was crying. I'm crying about that little dot. Now you know me. It's like, it's a handmade card. Really? Can't be perfect. Okay. So now. Oh, look. I found the first ones I was going to use. Why I didn't see them? I don't know. Ah, oh, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. So let's switch things up. We're going to put a big one right there. We're going to put one there. One there. One over there. Two, three, four, five. Works for me. You'd never know. Handmade card. That's how you do it. So here you can see the difference of using the light marker as to the dark marker. And then let me show you something else. Here is another version of it. Same flower using 
a black butterfly that I put um, Winky on and using the sending set. Sending a card to say hello. Okay, so there's card number three. Card number four, you ready for it? I like the darker too, Anna. I'm going to try carefully, very carefully <laughs> going over the other one. So here is card number four. Celebration. So this paper, this paper was actually from the catalog, Celebrate Everything. I need a sip of coffee. All right. So this I put through, what folder is it? Time Worn Type, this piece. So we can actually, actually, I was going to put him on the, you know, like wood, but nah, but that was my original thought. And then I looked at it and went, nah, we're going to make this a guy card. So brown and blue. It's perfect. Now, when you use time-worn type, there is a right and a wrong. So you just have to find a letter. And my A, my R, my V, my E, my S, it's all good. So it goes this direction. But I have been known to put it upside down. But I don't know if people are really going to look at it that, that close. Okay inside let's put the inside four by five and, ooh, and a quarter i guess i was going that way i wanted it to be four and a quarter that way instead of four let's put that in the center let's get you in the camera okay let's set that aside Get rid of this so we don't get any ink. Ink. So now we need the fox. The brown fox. It's from that lid. That's what I think. Do da do da. Oh, it's a good thing it's sketchy. It almost dropped it, and I only cut one. So we got to make that work. Oh yeah. Let's turn that upside down on that. I'm gonna take that upside down, and then I'm gonna check my fingers. All right, so I have got crumb cake, light and dark, and light and dark soft suede. So we're going to start with the dark soft suede. Let me lower. Don't blur. And you can make it a little sketchy, but we're really going to blend that in. So I'm kind of more like, you know, making like dotty lines. Got the other leg going in there. You have the inside of the leg and the thigh there. We're going to do some little flicks along the tail.
it's not easy to flick with these. Gonna have like the inside leg there. But like I said, you can always go back. Now, around that face, I don't want to put too much dark. I'll do his nose. Oh, I forgot his legs. Silly mama. So it looks like nothing now. Might look like nothing when I'm done. We'll find out. So we're filling that in and you're pulling the darker color. Well, that looks funny. So let's pull that color because I didn't flick as much as I really wanted to. We'll go a little careful around the ears. Now, around the eye, I kind of left a, like a white spot on top of it. Now, if you, you know, get too heavy and, and you don't do that, then there's always the white gel pen that you can come in. And we're not going to worry about his toenails. Everything is getting done brown. I think that's part of his leg. There. Sometimes those little sketchy marks kind of throw you off a little bit. This is really a first for Stampin' Up. I haven't seen them really do this kind of sketch. The out of the line sketch, we'll call it. So you can go back and, you know, go outside a little bit. Now, I bet you thought I forgot about that. But I'm going to use this lighter color. For just a little bit of sketchiness. So I'm just kind of putting like dots. And then I'm going to take the light crumb cake. Because I think this fox should have a lighter chest. That's going to dry a little bit lighter. And then if you want to lighten up anything, you could take this lighter color because that's how alcohol markers work. And we'll do a little bit of the fuzzies. And that's just going to brighten them up a little bit because it's just going to lighten up a little few spots. As if you were using the color lifter, like any like really lighter color of the same shades will, will lighten it up. All right. So I think for underneath, yeah, we'll do the same thing. I was going to use those little 
dots that come in the set, but I'm just going to make some ground for them to stand on. Yeah, I did it on the other one. Ooh. Okay. Something here is bothering me. Looks like he's got three ears. All right. That's going to go right there. Now we're going to take that happy birthday. Which I should have done first so it would be dry. Good morning, Nicole. Ah, oh, thank you. All right, hopefully that's good. I'm going to use the Stampin' Up! scissor. And we're going to quickly... Just cut around this one. Whack. And I was going to go straight, but I'll give it a little sip. And that Y. I never do anything the same twice. So we're going to put that right there. I'm not smearing it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Ooh, nothing came off. All right. And then I just love these faceted. No, fine sparkle adhesive. But they kind of remind me of the faceted ones that we had. I think that's what they were called. Who knows with my brain. So we're going to put a big one here. A big one there. Now this is a die card. And one right there. Happy birthday to you. You belong in a zoo. Now I'm going to show you the card. This is my absolute favorite. Now, remember the other night, my video when I used this and then I did it in, in the white and had that part for the snow. Well, I still had this. So with that paper, doo -doo 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 -doo, I cut out that flower from the paper, use this on the bottom. I put this piece through the In the Clouds, I think it's called, folder. And surprise, nothing on the inside. You write what you want. Isn't that pretty? That's my favorite. My absolute favorite. I fussy cut that, too. Look what a good job I did. 
I mean, seriously, I think I'm getting better. And then I use the pearls. So, oh, dropping things. So I'm so proud of myself. I did the zigzag ribbon because I usually mess that up. I don't know why. It's the simplest things that this girl, this girl right here can screw up. So where's all those other cards I did? I'll bring them back. So we got the woo-woo. I mean woo-hoo. Mm -hmm. Woo-hoo. I can even add the sending there. That woo-hoo can go there. We got our little duckies. All those ducks in a row. And that one. Oh, you got to be on top. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's fun to like figure out like backgrounds to make just a simple little flower look perfect. I love that one. And you know, I tell you sometimes when I don't like my, you know, cards, when I'm like, mm, this one. And, and the little duckies. And the fox. <laughs> All right. I'm being silly enough. So, yeah. I'll be back on Sunday. With you know my motto. I don't know what. But it'll be something. Do I have to start Halloween yet? I'm just, just a thought. Just wondering what you guys want to see. I mean, I do have more Christmas sets. I do have one Halloween set. I can come up with imagination stuff for Halloween. Um, that's October. Well, we're doing Christmas before that stuff. Maybe some fall, August, things are going to start turning colors. So, yeah. So I don't know what. But it'll be something. No Halloween, huh? Yeah, I got people that want Halloween cards. They want to buy them. I don't have too many. All right. So, yeah, I'll see you all then. Thanks for being here. Love you guys. Got to find the mouse. <laughs>